Brett with B. Hoover Custom Calls. Uh, today I'm going to explain the shotgun shell whistle. Uh, recently I posted some information about it and talked about the changes I had, had made in the appearance and also in the volume and the pitch of the calls. Uh, a little more clarity built into the call. Uh, each call, each shotgun shell whistle uh, looks exactly like a shotgun shell, has a brass end on it. Uh, the wedge on the top, I actually carve it so it looks like the crimping at the end of a shotgun shell. In the side of this call, there is a lanyard groove. Uh, the rounded portion is actually the front end of a duck's breast and above that is his head. Uh, for those that follow my calls, they know that every one of my calls has the profile of an animal of that call built in to the negative imaging. So if you hold this up to the light and look at the, the image beside it, there's actually a hidden duck in the side of this. There's two holes. The top hole is where your sound comes from. The bottom hole is what will change your pitch. And to, get, to me, the, the, the whistle, it's one of the most underutilized calls in waterfowling. There's so many ducks out there that don't necessarily quack. Uh, teals, widgeon, pintail, they, they whistle. And this is, this is a confidence builder, especially that mallard drake. You hear a lot of guys quacking all the time. That little bit of, uh, of mallard drakes, you can call it a, a, a dreeb, I've heard it, a grunt, groan, whatever. Uh, that sound that he makes, that's just a confidence within your spread. Quick demonstration of this. We're going to do a teal whistle. Uh, teal, you want to start it off, you're going to say either tot or tut. You want to start with that tongue. You want to, you want to start it off with your air cut off and then end it with your air cut off. If you just blow into it, it's going to sound like a regular old whistle. But we want to start and stop quick. That gives you that teal sound. A widgeon is a three note call. The second note of him, of, of a widgeon, is emphasized. So you're going to go tune, tune, tune. You're going to go up on that second note. Nothing covered again. That's your widget. Now, a pintail, you're going to cover this second hole, and that's where I say it'll change the pitch of that of that call. This will bring the, the the tone or the pitch down, and then you're going to flutter your tongue as you're blowing into it. You're going to twirl or flutter it. So you'll do that into the end of it. On to the mallard. And this is one of my favorites um, for confidence within when, when you're hunting out there uh, for bringing those call shy birds in. Mallard Drake, you don't cover anything, just like you're, you would call for your teal, but this time you're going to blow into it and hum. That being said, you want to hum as low as you can in pitch. You go too high, you, and, and I speak fairly high, you want to get down as low as you can when you when you blow into that call. So instead of mm, you're going to go mm, 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 mm. what I usually say is hoot or hut into that and that cuts it off there again. It gives it that little whistle at the end of it. Uh, here's a demonstration of that Miller Drake. So that's your mallard. That's a breakdown of, of the calls. I want to thank everybody for their interest in, in Beehoover Custom Calls and, and in the shotgun shell whistles. Thank you.